morning everybody welcome to the Firefly Studio 67 um, today I've got a custom order journal that I wanted to um, share with you guys plus I also wanted to document it um, you know for my own you know so down the road I can go back and look before I ship this out um, I've been working on this for a little while and this is the baby bumblebee I did one similar to this um, a few months back but they never all come out the same, you know, everything is, um, you can try to uh, replicate something, but they, they'll they always have differences, and I, I don't like to um, have a formula anyways, as you know. So, um, on the front, again, I've got the, the little metal bee. I love this kit. This is Artie Mae's Bumblebee. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. My my throat throat is still kind of scratchy. Um, the Artie Mae's Bumblebee kit. Um, I'll put in the description box below. And then there were some elements that I used from my porch prints within this, and I'll put the link to her kit as well because they really do complement each other. So again, I'm not going to pull everything out, guys. This is just purely for my own reference as to you know what I what I did so I've made this flip out on the cover and then the inside cover here I absolutely love how this came out um, it, it just beautiful um, so this tucks in and then that flips over you got a pocket here and then this is a belly band that I created um, so those those cards are tucked in there but yeah, the um, the colors on that with this page are just it's just a beautiful layout. I'm really pleased with that. <clears throat> Again, a double pocket here using some of the pages from that kit, an old uh, vintage book page. We tried to do a lot of stitching in here. Um, and lots of book pages. I did decoupage, I've done stenciling. This, all of the fabric in here is the uh, Liberty of London uh, fabrics, um, ah, minus this one. This is some I purchased in the U.S. and my son brought to me, but I loved, um, with this kit you got a lot of different colors happening, so I really enjoy working with um, this Bumblebee kit because you can pull in so many different colors. And so this went along with it, so it's a bit of a peach. Um, and then I took some of the peach seam binding there. But yeah, she's got a lot of different, as you can see, this page is just so much. You could do anything. And I love how this came out. I just made a little bow out of extra fabric and laces and tied that off. But isn't that cute? I love the way that looks. I love this page. Just added some little charms here and there because um, you know I'm charm challenged so that's 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 what I consider a charm right there <laughs> uh, here's another pocket back here that um, she can add some items to it's a big journal it's two signatures but I think this has got over 145 pages um, yeah I love this little stamp I recently got um, it's got a beautiful saying it says stroll through a meadow breathing in the sunshine and believe in miracles and I just thought with everything we're going through right now that is just perfect and then I cut out the little bee and added to that here I've done another little belly band and then I just tucked in a little envelope that's got a journal card inside there more of the decoupaged bees throughout love these fabrics from uh, and then this was a box of postcards I purchased um, gosh probably two years ago and uh, I've just run across them again uh, during my clean out because I I think like a lot of you I'm using this time to really sort through and um, you know do a clear out try to get more organized so I can be a bit more productive um, here I've got another little pocket. I must mark this. I've got to put something in that. 
pocket there, and then there's a pocket here that a journal card's going to go into. Um, I like how this came out. This was the back of the envelope, so I just made this long tag and a couple more. So yeah, I'm just using the time to really um, try to get more organized, and I'm uh, probably going to see over the next couple of weeks some more de-stash. Um, well, I say, I don't know, maybe one or two more de-stash if anybody's interested in the UK, um, because the stuff I'm going to put up is going to be too heavy. It, it would ju it'd just be too expensive to try to ship over to the U.S. Um, another pocket out of a book page. I love these. This is some really, Im really nice images in that, that book. I can't, uh, it's in there. I won't get it out. Here's a little tuck spot here. Lots of layering with extra uh, bits of paper. And then this is another stamp. It says, a good laugh is like sunshine in nature. And that is so true. That's, I just, I really love those. And then I stamped, isn't he amazing? Love that bee image. Some more little charm added to the tabs. Because you get those tabs in the Artie Mays kits. And I love the tabs. And then here is another little flip over. So there's still a lot of writing space. Um... Here is another one of the pay wages, so you've got a pocket in here that you can add something, and then I've made a pocket on this side as well, and then just filled it. These are genuine little, um, this is a tea card. Sometimes I, ha I have the cigarette cards as well. I love how that came out. That's just a bit of scrap that I folded up, and I just think colors on that. Just beautiful. And then here's one of the faux postage stamps I made and just created a tuck spot there. That's shipping paper that I made into a pocket. I love working with uh, that, you know, rust, real rustic looking. And then another little bit of uh, bling with a some lace on a bulb pin there. So I'm going to be very busy making bread. If you follow me on um, Instagram, you'll see my, my boo-boo. I ordered some bread flour because flour you can't find here and I was getting concerned that we were going to be able to get bread. So um, I ordered some flour and I miscalculated on the uh, metric to imperial. And so I've ended up with about 20 pounds of flour. So um, I just, we were struggling to get yeast and Paul just happened to run across some yesterday while he was out shopping. And so now I can get busy with the bread making. So you're probably going to start seeing, if you follow me on Instagram, you're probably going to start seeing some... Uh, photos of my pizza crusts and whatever I can do with 20 pounds of flour, <laughs> which with a, a, you know, if, if all the family were around, that wouldn't take long at all to go through, but just Paul and I, and particularly since I'm trying to watch carbs, <laughs> uh, it was a boo-boo, but I love how this came out. These are from Stephanie's shop, My Porch Prints, and I just made them into little slides. Very simple. I added this, um, Bit of chain and then the little um, paper clip just to hold them in place and then I tucked them in the little pocket here. I just thought it was kind of sweet to have that there and um, so yeah that's and this is some avocado dye and I love how that came out. It looks almost marbled. <clears throat> so there she is and on the back I made this um, large coin envelope and I love how that came out and then this is the back of the journal here so there it is guys this is another of the Bumblebee journals and she is on her way to 
Michigan, my home state. And actually, where this is going to is very close to where I grew up. So this she's, she's pretty much a neighbor. So I hope she enjoys it. I hope you guys are all staying safe and feeling well. Um, we've got some sunshine here today. So I'm going to the post office um, to post. And then I'm going to take Daisy for a short walk because we are on lockdown. And we can only go uh, for a very, very short walk once a day. And it's got to be very close to home. So I'm going to do that today uh, because I feel like I need to be out in, in nature for a bit. Um, the lockdown, you know, I've been, I've been in the house now for over a week. And it's starting to wear on my nerves. I mean, I've been getting out in the garden some, but... Um, it's not a hardship, the lockdown. It's the psychological effect that it's having on me. Um, the, the knowing that I can't get home is really, really um, weighing heavily on my mind. So that part of it, but everything else, you know, we're, we're everybody's healthy, thank God. And, uh, you know. We're all able to get the essentials, but it's it's just the psychological part of it is, is I'm really, really struggling with it. And yesterday they told us that this could last for six months. So anyways, I hope everybody stays well. Let's try to keep each other's spirits up. Uh, you guys are a tremendous help to me because uh, when I follow you on Instagram and I see your videos here, it, it really helps more than I can ever put into words. So thank you all who are still uh, producing art. And, you know, it just it keeps, it keeps my mind occupied. So thank you all so much for that. Please take care of yourselves, and I'll be back soon. Bye.